Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be doing here a deck profile that I've really just wanted to put out for a while now. And given that we are getting close to April, I figured I may as well just put this out and uh, a bunch of the other decks that I actually have that are about to be rotated out, I wanted to share it before they were actually going to be uh, rotated. So with that being said, this particular deck here is my Rapid Strike Urshifu V Max deck. Now, this deck came out a long time ago, obviously, back during Battle Styles, and yes, I was playing a bit prominently during that time, however, I did take a massive break, and yeah, it's just uh, changed so much now. Now, that being said, although these cards did come out quite a while back, there are still updates to it, regardless of how the format progresses. For example, cards that are supporters like Iono or cards in um, energies or items, everything like that, they all keep coming up with new stuff. So with that being said, the deck still evolves. While the Pokemon remains the same, it's all the trainer cards and even the energy cards that uh, change up a bit and add more to the deck as it progresses along uh, closer to its rotation day. So with that being said, this particular build here is uh, definitely very different from my original build that I used to have back when this deck came out. However, I don't want to drag this out any longer, so we're just going to begin. Of course, if you guys do enjoy this video, definitely drop a like, share, comment, and subscribe. It really does help out the channel. But with that being said, let's begin. So to start off, we're going to be playing three copies here of our Rapid Strike Urshifu V Max, and we're also going to be playing three copies here of the Rapid Strike Urshifu V. I decided to go for three three ratio just because we didn't really need too many of these. Uh, the deck originally started off playing a four four ratio, and that was mainly because it was kind of the only one that you could really stick to. And to a certain degree, it kind of still is, but here's the thing. We're in this particular stage now where having 330 HP is very difficult to actually get over. So with that being said, the opponent could actually have quite a hard time actually uh, dealing with this. And besides, even if they knock out three of them, you're going to lose anyway because the opponent's taking three prize cards. Uh, for each one so they only need to knock out two why give them so many opportunities to actually do that so putting it at a 3-3 for now it definitely works out amazingly next up i'm going to be playing four copies here of the phalanx uh this is definitely a really interesting card i've seen some decks that have opted to not play it at all but i do feel like this card definitely can be utilized to the max if you're able to put in as many rapid strike pokemon uh, in play out there and when you have all the urshifus and you have the phalanxes as well plus another card we'll get to later it really does add up as an overall to how much you actually have out on the board so definitely fantastic there and for the very minimal cost it does to perform its attack it's definitely worth playing i also have here four copies of persimian persimian is a fantastic card because in combination with the phalanx both of these are single prizer cards so if anything it's really worth playing given that if you have say three or four persimian out you're dealing so much extra damage uh, just for having a presence on the board and this particular deck can easily search out itself so yeah this is definitely a deadly combo between the two now of course to keep up with the consistency of this particular deck we are also going to be playing the uh, two copies of octillery and two copies of remoraid most of the time you only really need one so the additional copies you could easily just uh, discard as part of fodder for any of the other cards like ultra ball or professor's research but that being said these two particular cards here are pretty much the way to search out for any of your rapid strike cards every single turn definitely very fantastic there and definitely helping the consistency of your deck all right so now we're moving on to supporters 
to begin, I'm going to be playing Iona. Iona is a definitely fantastic card. It is something that I've been considering bumping up to a second copy. However, I found that one is more than enough to really get the job done. That being said, if you are thinking about adjusting the ratios of Iono, perhaps you could consider the Professor's Research. I'm playing four copies of Professor's Research. However, I wouldn't mind taking out one copy of my Professor's Research to fit in the second copy of Iono. I feel like that would definitely be a very viable option to get the deck running. And then I'm going to be playing three copies here of Boss's Orders as well. That wraps up for the supporters. Boss's Orders is essentially uh, a game ender. That's as much as I can really say about it. Alright, so in terms of stadiums, I think uh, it's pretty obvious that we're going to be playing two copies of Tower of Waters. This essentially allows you to retreat whenever you want. Mind you, we are playing three copies of the Rapid Strike Urshifu V Max. It can take up to 320 damage. Um, so definitely very powerful. Of course, it has 330, but it could take up to 320. In that scenario, why not just uh, retreat and bring out another? It could really uh, slow down the opponent in being able to deal with uh, your particular cards out there. So definitely really nice there and allows for a bit of uh, sort of like a mix match of plays between either the Phalanx or your Urshifus. Continuing on though with the Rapid Strike support, we are playing two copies of Fan of Waves. I find that special energies are occurring a lot more these days, so to play two might even be a little too less to be honest. But that being said, this card is capable of being searched via Octillery, which makes it so much better. We're also playing two copies here of Rapid Strike Scroll of Swirls. This is just a really nice um, card to allow you to deal additional damage to everything all at once. It allows you to hit essentially every target out there. And being a searchable card as well, it is definitely well worth it. I did forget to bring up though, there is one more supporter, uh, but I kind of grouped it together with the Rapid Strike cards, uh, for good reason of course, it is searchable, so if anything it's more consistent than the other supporters, but uh, Rapid Strike style mustard is essentially allowing you to replenish yourself, definitely very nice, there's not much else to say about it. Alright, so to continue with the whole consistency of this deck, we're going to be playing uh, four copies here of Ultra Ball. Ultra Ball is self-explanatory to be honest, it could search out anything you need. I'm going to be playing two copies here of Switch Cart. It allows me to essentially uh, heal up as well, further slowing down my opponents, but also allowing me to switch whenever I need to in circumstances of emergency. And I'll also be playing four copies here of the Battle VIP Pass. You draw into this card in the early game and you're allowed to create an amazing setup for your entire board. It's absolutely crazy. Next up, got four copies here of my uh, Chromomatic. It allows me to just search out stuff and it really speeds up the process. I mean, sure you have to discard a card, but you have so much uh, discard fodder anyway you really don't have to worry about it. I'm also going to be playing here two copies of Lost Vacuum. Sometimes there are just cards that I don't want to deal with and Lost Vacuum just deals with those particular tools. Uh, but next up, I'm also going to be playing here the Forest Steel Stone and the Hiswain Heavy Ball. Uh, both of these are the one-ofs in my deck and uh, Forest Steel Stone, if you get into it, you could essentially search for anything you want. His Swain Heavy Ball allows me to essentially search up my prize cards once, allowing me to understand how to uh, pretty much play my game. What's my end game here? What's my play going to be? What's my strategy? So definitely very nice. There's no need to really uh, push it to a second or third copy or anything like that, but uh, it definitely helps get the job done. So let's wrap things up here with the energies. We're going to be playing four copies of the Rapid Strike energy. I mean, this card is searchable. This card allows you to have two energy in combination of water or fighting. It's so good. It's so powerful. One of my favorite energies, and it's definitely going to be sad to seeing it go. 
but we're also going to be playing two copies here of Spiral Energy. Spiral Energy isn't as good, but it does allow you to have every type of energy to it. And if you happen to have any sort of condition, it also helps you recover from that too. Not to say that it happens, but uh, being another searchable card, definitely well worth it. To wrap things up, I'm playing here two copies of the uh, regular fighting energy. I find that this one here is a bit more on the generic side, but uh, it gets the job done. You could opt out to play uh, four copies of Spiral Energy instead. That is always an option. Uh, but that being said, it can be uh, very specific to certain Pokemon. So that essentially wraps it up for this particular deck. So I hope you guys actually enjoyed this one. I mainly wanted to do this deck profile so that I could document this deck before it goes. Uh, that way I could sort of remember it as I am trying to adjust it into the expanded formats. But with that being said, if this was something that uh, was a bit useful for you guys, definitely drop a like, share, comment and subscribe. It really does help out the channel. But thanks for joining me today. Hope you all have a fantastic day. I will see you all next time.